Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spade Adventurers. Welcome back to Spade Gals Productions Game Boxing Channel with me, Jake Spins, who also owns and creates on Spade Gals Original with Girl of Cyclones, Queen Core, Floral Iron Vlogs. Now, if you don't know, we have done some Smash pre launch discussions. We were actually one of the first people to bring up the, the Echo Fighter question, at least as far as I noticed, and then everybody was just like, that's something I should do, and they were a little late to the party, but they overshadowed. But that's not important. Um, what is important, though, is as you can see by the, uh, by the background, you know, over there, over there, they, they just at the sides, you can see we have assist trophies by the border, and I know a lot of people have talked about assist trophies, whether it be who is missing from the game, who they feel is an assist trophy that should be a fighter, and just mostly that. But today we are going to do a different discussion. And I, I like the idea of trying to do a slightly different discussion, which is also why I'm doing this, even though I still am not planning on doing that many. And that would be the importance of assist trophies. Now, the reason I'm deciding to do this is because over the past however long, you know, it's prop at least 90 days because at the point of me recording this, we're halfway to Smash Ultimate releasing. Through those past days, through that timeline, got something in my eye. Thankfully not for all those 90 days, but today I've been getting a lot of things stuck in my eye. Thanks, I. <laughs> anyway, though, um, I've had... I've noticed that a lot of people have been either tweeting or per se just making jokes or whatever about certain characters being assist trophies that they wanted to be fighters. And this is even more noticeable as if you go onto Google, type in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and look up Waluigi Assist Trophy. After a little bit, like not too long, it's all just people being very sad about Waluigi not being in the game. And doing the everyone is here except Waluigi. <sighs> because, you know, there's not hundreds of characters that are not in Smash and other IPs that just aren't represented at all in Smash either. Just saying. Um, I do want to say before going fully into this discussion that I'm not against any of the characters that I'm about to talk about or any of the fans. I'm just trying to hope... I'm hoping basically this video might make a little more people happier about assist trophies or more okay with them because assist trophies really are important. Now first I just kind of was like I'm gonna wing this and it just it went awful. Horrible, terrible. So I've made a list of things I don't know if I will necessarily go in order but the first thing I have is basically Many assists don't have source material slash harder to make a move set for. So here's the thing. Okay, so let's take Waluigi because we're already talking about Waluigi. This is a character from the Mario series. Now Mario series has quite a lot of people in the roster already. And for the assist trophies other than Waluigi, you do have stuff such as Hammer Brother and Chain Chomp. And it's, it's nice to have a mainline Mario character there. But the thing to consider about Waluigi is the fact that he doesn't have any mainline game stuff. And while, yes, he does have source material as swimming in air, pulling out roses, for some reason, he's just all over the place. While that's true, and you've got a lot of victory animation stuff or taunts very easily... The question lies, the move set, and that is very important. When a game developer for any anything, specifically a fighting game, because you know we're talking about Smash, 
you know, Sakurai and his team have to actually sit down and say, okay, people want Waluigi. Okay, that's great. So, what are his specials going to be? What is his aerials going to be? What are his tilts going to be? What's his jab going to be? What is his final smash going to be? You know, different stuff like that. Is he going to be a faster character, slower character, more defensive, more powerful? There's a lot to consider when you look at a character. And while stats might not be that hard and certain things like animations might not be that hard to figure out, it's not a simple thing and transition like Peach to Daisy. And the reason why Daisy went in is because her proportions are the same, including height, weight, dress. Like, it's, it's different stuff. She looks different, but her figure is the exact same. Her personality is different, henceforth the echo of having different animations and all that kind of stuff. But they can transfer the moves because they're not going to generally be a perfect 100% match. But they're going to match well enough for Sakurai and the team to say, this works. And being able to get that self-satisfaction of going to the game designer who originally made the character and saying, what do you think? Because Sakurai likes to do that. He likes to go above and beyond. If there's something they don't want, I'm definitely sure he'd change it to make sure as far as physically possible that he could get the biggest smile on their face as them basically saying, you did a good job, Sakurai. You did amazingly. And in that vein, I do want to mention, for the people that are saying, why is X character not in the game or an assist trophy? What is that character, first of all? And secondly, I want you to tell me what their moveset is. Now, I don't want anybody to be sassing anybody. I'm not sassing anybody. I'm just curious to see, because then maybe as you're looking through, maybe it'll click that, oh, this isn't as simple as I may have once thought. Because you might be like, we'll just give them a bunch of sports equipment and stuff. Well, the thing for that is that you do actually have that for Peach and Daisy, and that's I was thinking, they can reuse this stuff, but while Luigi also can't be put as an echo for Luigi, because as I said, for the proportion thing, he's not proportioned to be Luigi in weight or height. He's very different. Same thing for Wario, but Wario has more source material because he has his own franchise and he's had Wario World and stuff like that. He's been in a mainline Mario game. He has things to pull from so it's easier to create a moveset. And I know people are going to say, well, Captain Falcon didn't have a moveset. Well, Greninja didn't have a set when they gave it to Sakurai to figure out the moves. I get that. But that source material, it helps. It helps them say, this is something that will work. This is something that will make their creator and the people that are fans of this characters happy instead of just slapping something on there that they feel won't work for them. All right, so that was my first point. Uh, second point, it's not very strong because you do have um, a lot of series from, you know, but it's, it's roster variety. And I don't feel as strongly for this just because you do have a lot of same for Fire Emblem. And just a quick note on that, we have a lot of Mario characters. We have a pretty decent amount of Pokemon characters. Heck, we even have a pretty decent amount of of Legend of Zelda characters. So it's kind of interesting that Fire Emblem gets flack, and I I know because of all that stuff. That's a different conversation. But that just talking about variety makes me um, think of that. Now, characters that wouldn't have the variety problem. Well, while Waluigi could because people, I don't think people would complain about there being Mario characters, but, you know, it's, it's possible that they want to inch away from that because they still need Mario characters for the future. Uh, but characters that wouldn't have an issue with that, probably Ashley because the only person from her series is Wario, 
but she's still from Mario. Obviously, Heck. Shovel Knight would not have this problem. Knuckles would not have this problem because they could make him very different from Sonic. And even though his assist trophy is homing attack, which is strange because Knuckles can't really homing attack or doesn't. He, he can under certain circumstances. Like one game, I think. Um, but that's that's not the point. Um, so the thing is, though, um, my third point, though, of this is that they could just be cameos. I'm going to kind of tie this in a little bit. So the thing is, Captain Toad, okay? Everybody was like, yo, Captain Toad, be a great choice. Been confirmed he's a cameo in New Donk City. He might be like Nabbit and do something. I feel like he'd be kind of like Isabel in the background something give you throw a moon out there and it'll recover some hp or something like that or a star make you invincible that's possible we don't actually know because we haven't seen that stage in action but he he is a cameo and the thing is about assist trophies is that you can interact with assist trophies you can interact and they they fight for you you can now ko them so there's a lot more that you can do with this assist trophies than you can do with a cameo such as Captain Toad because I'm not complaining that Captain Toad's a cameo um because that would kind of negate the point of this video but it's it's cool to see him but it's that scale of would you rather Captain Toad be an assist trophy or a playable character obviously but I'm not going to complain because he's in the game, and I, I think that's cool. That's a nice little thing. And that's... I don't want any arguments about why Captain Toad wouldn't or wouldn't work. I mean, if you really wanted to, sure, but... Sybil. <laughs> I'm always scared. I'm overly scared. It's really it. Um, but the, th the thing is, though, when it comes to these assist trophies, as I said, the assist trophies... They could be cameos. They could easily just be not there in the game. And that's the thing. When you have something such as Smash Brothers with a roster of 70, possibly more, and I don't want any arguments about the number. I, do, I don't care. The point is, it's around 70. Okay? We have that clear. I, I understand. Whatever. Um... But when you when you come down to it, it is the question of, okay, let's take out assist trophies. If assist trophies were not here, you would not have nearly as many characters in here. And you might be like, well, if assist trophies weren't there, then they could work on more characters. And that's not necessarily true because they would more likely work on more stages or something that is less of a workload that they could put their time into but they put it into assist trophies and the reasoning for assist trophies is so that the people that say on the ballot i would like shovel knight they can they can be happy and shovel knight the thing about shovel knight shovel knight he would definitely have a wide range of things you can pull from because he's the main character of his own game and from what i can tell he has a pretty decent amount of stuff going for him that he can draw off of and that's that's a really cool trait to have it's you know it's kind of the Mega Man thing but the problem with that is that Smash Brothers um not not the pulling from obviously that's not a problem but in each Smash Brothers game somebody did mention that this is a very expressive Smash Brothers game they specifically pointed out the expressions are more expressive which sounds ridiculous, but in reality, looking at them, you can say, you can see, oh, Donkey Kong getting punched. You can tell he's in real pain. Whereas beforehand, it would be like, okay, he got he got punched. That translates, but maybe not that it hurts so much. Um, you know, them being aggressive, and the thing with Shovel Knight. Is that I don't know if this is the make or break thing because there's many different things such as it being an American indie company that Shovel Knight comes from, but he can't emote because he has he he has the helmet on. 
And with it being more expressive, they would probably want to give him more expression and more personality, but they wouldn't be able to do that. And while he's popular and a lot of people do enjoy him, you know, there is that. Um, the other thing that I did want to mention, though, is that because there's that language barrier and Sakurai likes to talk directly to the creators, it would be a little harder. He would still manage to do it with translating because I am holding out hope for Shantae. Now, here's the thing. You guys might be like, okay, well, you've said about Shadow and Shantae. And I just want to briefly mention the fact that if Shadow gets in an, as an assist, sure, I'll be upset. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be upset if somebody's an assist trophy when you want them as a fighter. But you shouldn't go to Sakurai and say, I'm going to boycott the game. Or this character really should have been a playable character and now it's a bad game because this character isn't. And not everybody's doing that. But if, if Shadow is an assist trophy, sure. I'll be a little upset, but I'll be happy that he's in the game. I'll be happy that I'm able to look over and be like, there's Shadow. That's awesome. That's really cool to see. If he's an Echo, I'll still be like, he's in the game. Do I want him to be a newcomer? Yes, I've been very vocal about that. But if he's an Echo fighter, cool. He's in the game. I can play as him. And Shantae, if she gets in as a his trophy, I'll be like, holy crap. This was one of my dream picks, and I literally never thought this would happen. But it's really cool to see her in the game, even if she's an assist trophy. And in that in that vein, it is the thing of, if you didn't have assist trophies, characters like Shantae and Shovel Knight would have a very unlikely chance of being in the game. And the thing about that is that the assist trophies add a wide variety. You have Rathalos in there, who no Monster Hunter rep that we know of, but you have Rathalos, Rath, Rath the, now, now I can't say it, but sure, it's boss, but it's also an assist trophy. You have Alucard, and these are characters like Bomberman, you couldn't really have these characters in as easily and as much representation for these series and things like Bomberman that aren't even playable in Smash Brothers, while a lot of people also wanted Bomberman playable. It's nice to see because the development team is probably like, okay, here's these set characters we want to do and we would love to do these and fans would love to see them, but we can't do it for one reason or another because we can't figure out their full move set because we just don't have enough time for that character and then they say you know what it's okay we'll put them in as an assist trophy the other thing that is nice um i've memorized a few things but um the other thing to mem to not memorize to remind ourselves about is that there's 70 characters in the roster. There is a very high chance that you might actually see someone like Waluigi or Knuckles or Bomberman. Any of these assist trophies, more than you'll see a character that's actually playable, depending on what you do, classic mode and stuff. If you have items on for all your matches, of course, if you have items off, then you won't. But chances are you're going to get at least two or three each match and each single one of them has a chance of that character appearing they can even possibly appear multiple times that usually doesn't happen but it can happen so you can potentially see one character as an assist trophy more than you do fighting a playable character or playing as a playable character i can honestly say that is very true i've probably seen Mother Brain more times than I've actually seen Samus playable in Smash Wii U. And I, I feel like I can honestly 100% say that because I wouldn't really play Samus that much. So it's those little things to, to keep in mind. And the the last thing, um, I mean, 
with the interaction thing, there is the fact that you, you can KO them and cameos you can't. So at least you can interact with them. And as I just said, you can now KO them. But the last thing that I want to mention is something that I really, I really like that I came up with this. And the reasoning is because it gives even more of an explanation. Characters with not as much source material or harder to figure out characters, characters that could easily be messed up if you do the wrong thing with their personalities, when they're an assist trophy, what I put is assist can be funny, wacky, and even slightly broken if they want because they don't play as much of a role for balancing like the playable characters do. In parentheses, I also put, in a sort of way, it helps keep the feeling of the characters and emotions right. I'll get to that in a second. Now with the balancing thing, you're generally going to have items on. For assist trophies, they're not going to be on during tournaments. So people that want to go in a competitive setting, it doesn't have to be as fine tweaked and balanced. They, they would, but something like the moon being in isn't going to cause as much chaos for a competitive scene. So something that large can come in because it's fun, it's wacky, it's weird, but it's cool. And being on a time match, if that comes up and you go flying off, you can do just the same to your opponents, which is why they have things like that in there and things that might be a little more chip damage or not as much versus something that can do giant damage. Also stuff that does status things or like Tingle being very strange, throwing a bunch of hammers because a regular character can't just come come out and throw a bunch of hammers. So that's the thing. And I, obviously, I'm not saying that if Tingle was playable, that's what he would do. But that's just the idea. And the thing is, though, when it, when it comes to these series, you have to be very careful. Because you look at it, Ridley can fly. Kirby can fly. Jigglypuff... Up apparently can fly. DDD can fly. Meta Knight can fly. In the Kirby games, the flight is infinite. Pit is a god dang angel. But you look at Smash Brothers, they can't jump infinitely because that would break the game. So they get respectively five jumps or four jumps. Something in that area. So putting something like Tingle and being like, okay, well what does Tingle do? Tingle literally sits up high on a balloon until you shoot him down to the ground and then by a map. And that's the general sense of him. That's of what I know of him. He might do other things. And yes, you could be like, well, Spins, he is playable in Hyrule Warriors. So, and I'm not saying you can't make, you can't make these characters into fighters. You, if they really wanted to, they could make Tingle into a fighter. However, they couldn't do that same translation for Tingle. He would, in his smash, he floats up and he throws stuff. And now that I think about it, Tingle might not be an assist trophy because of Great Bay, but the moon is still there. And also Knuckles being in the background of Green Hill Zone. It's confusing. I don't know what their thoughts are on that. But that's my my thought of it's easier to connect the original character's roots with what they generally are. In the case of Waluigi, being able to just stomp people into the ground with very silly noises and holding a tennis racket, which the tennis racket actually doesn't do anything, it's wacky. It's Waluigi. And... It's possible that that might get a little lost when translated in. Could they do more weird, wacky, Waluigi stuff for his assist trophy? Of course. But, again, there is that possibility of lost translation. I don't know for Ashley, but she seems to be very frowny and magical, and a lot of people like her. And Shovel Knight, putting people into the ground. 
I mean, I don't know as much about these characters. I know about Waluigi, of course, and obviously the moon could never be a character. And that's not to say that every assist trophy should be a character either. Um, which I did actually, that was actually a point of that when they're an assist trophy, they have a better chance of being, I forgot to mention this, they have a better chance of being a playable character than someone who isn't. And that's not to say that every play playable character would have to be, but Shovel Knight being an assist trophy now in the next game has a more likely chance of either returning as an assist trophy or a trophy because he has history with the series or being a playable character because there's now relations built up with that specific series inside of Smash Brothers. And there are probably going to be some characters and some enemies that stay linked with assist trophies. Waluigi is probably one of them and that might sadden people but when you think about it that would mean that he's stapled in concrete into being in Smash Brothers. He's consistent. He might not be playable, but you can still see him. And that's that's the thing. I feel like more people would be upset if he wasn't a his trophy and didn't come as a playable character than they would be if he if he just was constantly an assist trophy like he is now and things might change obviously nothing is spoken for the future of smash brothers we literally have no idea we don't even know if there's going to be a new one but it's nintendo's money makers so it probably will be sakurai probably just might not be involved i don't know it's tangled webs but let me know what you guys think of my discussion. I feel like this time went a little bit better. And I don't know, maybe it helped. I hope it helped. Because if it maybe made a few few of you guys who were like, really want this character to be in, maybe it made you feel a little better. If it did, let, let me know. And uh, hopefully it, it did. Yeah. But um, lost, last thought uh, left in my brain. This is probably one of the longer discussions too, which went better than last time because the last time was 13 minutes anyway though i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys later keep it toe safe